All right, I want to talk about what I call the funding rabbit hole. You've probably heard the phrase, you know, down the rabbit hole. Well, with startups, I call it the funding rabbit hole because ultimately there is this control. And I'm going to describe the control. It goes something like this. So you got this great idea, you want to be an entrepreneur. And you're like, great. But you're like me or like anyone else, 99% of the people out you really don't have any money. You work a day job, you pay your bills, all, you know, all, your, all your money is accounted for. So you need to raise some money. However, in order to raise money, you have to file with the SEC. Okay, that's something that you try to do and you realize, wow, there's a lot to this. This is kind of complicated. I need an attorney. In order to get an attorney, you need to pay them. So you probably see the dilemma. You can't raise money from your friends and family and other folks, right? You maybe but you can't get a loan because you don't have the credit score or anything else. And you can't hire an attorney because you don't have money. But you know you could get money if you could go and get it from your friends. So that's called the funding rabbit hole. And ultimately it's there, it exists to basically stop you from launching your business. It's an orchestrated attempt by the elite, by the 1%, to keep you the little entrepreneur, right? The guy with the brilliant idea from accomplishing that idea. And the moment you start trying to do it, you're probably gonna be on an investigation or looked into or, you know, like in my case, I've raised some money. I didn't have the money to raise, to pay for the attorney, so I did it kind of, I just did it, okay? Because I'm a naughty sort of guy. So all of a sudden, because you know, people probably don't like what I'm doing and are threatened by what I'm doing, are basically um, narking is the word we use, you know, on the SEC. So then you got the SEC snooping around. <clears throat> now I don't know if I'm under investigation or not. I don't know what they're doing. But you know what? Now I have to hire a fucking attorney to find out. So that's $10,000 that I have to put down and ultimately deal with this situation. Now, it would be nice if we had a rule where, hey, you could raise $100,000 without any sort of restrictions or anything, as long as you make this, the right sort of um, disclaimer. That'd be nice, but that would be too easy. They want you to basically, you know, be at the mercy of Silicon Valley, to be at the mercy of these angel investors and other folks who can come in and control and own and, and basically take your business. You know, if you want to go outside and not be part of this click, this in-cloud, this good old, good old boy network, if you don't want to be part of the Dave fucking McClure's or the Eric Reese's or the, or the Steve Blank's or all the other fucking VCs and angel investors out of Silicon Valley who claim that they're there to help you, but in fact they're there just to have their fingers in your ass, then you're kind of SOL like me. And I rant and make a video like this because to be honest, these guys have it within their power, you know, the, 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 the Paul Grahams of the world, the white commoners of the world, to put up such a fucking stink that the SEC would listen. However, it's not to their interest to do that because they want to control. So to all you fuckers out there, I hope you fuck yourself.